Given the recent political upheaval in Ironforge, the gnomes have suddenly found themselves unwelcomed guests within the city. Leveraging their ingenious technologies and unquenchable spirit for adventure, the gnomes have begun to reevaluate their role within Cosmodon. Under the inventive leadership of high tinker Gelbin Mechatork, the gnomes now plan a daring campaign against the barbarous Trogs to retake their former capital of Nomregon. With the odds stacked against them, the gnomes are counting on brave heroes such as you to stand and be counted. Your people's greatest hour draws near. Exiled years ago from their lands in Stranglethorn Vale, the dark-speared trolls attempted to make a new life for themselves amongst the disparate races of the Horde. Under the leadership of the noble war chief Thrall, Vul'jin and his savage trolls had at last found the honor and purpose they had been searching for. But now, under the rule of the headstrong Garrosh Hellscream, the trolls fear that the Horde could tear itself apart. Vul'jin knows that whatever threats loom ahead, whether they be from within the Horde or from without, it is cunning trolls like you who will fight to preserve the honor of the Horde. Empowered by the holy light and the undying strength of their convictions, the Draenei led the charge against the demonic Burning Legion in Outland. Now, with the Legion's defeat, they have completed the desperate mission that first brought them to Azeroth. Though some Draenei were sent back to Outland to revitalize their former civilization, the majority have vowed to remain and uphold their sacred commitment to the Alliance. Driven by a powerful vision, the immortal prophet Velen believes that a great war between the darkness and the light is fast approaching, and that Azeroth will be its principal battleground. As one of Velen's chosen, you must stand bravely before the Shadow and ensure that your people are ready for the war to come. The past few years have seen unprecedented changes within the eternal land of Quel'Thalas. The Blood Elves, following the will of their crazed leader, Kael'thas Sunstrider, channeled dangerous, chaotic magics to transform their sacred Sunwell into a gateway of unspeakable evil. While Kael'thas and his demonic masters were eventually defeated, a different kind of transformation occurred within the Sunwell itself, as a dying Naru sacrificed its life essence to reignite the Sunwell into a fount of holy energy. Now, the Blood Elf Regent Lorthamar Theron sees a new hope on the horizon for his people. Over time, the Sunwell's light could cure the Blood Elves of their cursed state, but many still cling to the arcane powers they procured and are hesitant to relinquish them. As one of the remaining Blood Elves, you must fight to protect Quel'Thalas and help redeem the soul of your ancient people. After years of imprisonment within the Emerald Nightmare, Arc Druid Malfurion Stormrage has finally returned to the mortal world. Reunited with his love, Tyranda Whisperwind, Malfurion endeavors now to heal the corrupted world tree Teldrassil and rejuvenate the spirit of the Night Elf people. Yet as the great cataclysm shakes the boughs of their colossal tree, the night elves brace themselves against the coming storm. As war and destruction close in from all sides, it falls to night elves like you to stand strong and protect the enduring legacy of your people. Betrayed by Grand Apothecary Putrus at the Battle of Wrathgate, the Forsaken's devious plague of death was unleashed upon both the Alliance and the Horde to calamitous effect. Unbeknownst to Sylvanas, Putrus and his demonic ally, Veramathras, had taken control of the Undercity. As a result, the Forsaken were wrongly blamed for the traitor's atrocities. Though the Undercity was eventually retaken, Sylvanas and her followers still bear the weight of Putrus' sins. 
mistrusted by the other members of the Horde. The Forsaken must now prove their loyalty to the cause and redeem themselves from their supposed treachery. To this end, Sylvanas has bolstered her defenses within the Tirisfall Glades and readied her undead forces for any contingency. As one of the Forsaken, you must use your cunning and viciousness to slay any who would pose a threat to Sylvanas's rule, be they human, undead, or otherwise. Led by their indomitable king, Gen Greymane, the proud citizens of Gilneas once stood with the Alliance against the vile, orcish horde that sought to conquer all of Lordaeron. Gilneas survived, but in the chaotic years following the Second War, the mighty kingdom drew ever inward. Distrustful of their former allies, the Gilneans erected a mighty wall at the borders of their land, closing off their nation and their hearts from an ever-darkening world. Now, many years later, as the seemingly unstoppable undead scourge marches across Lordaeron, human civilization once again teeters on the brink of destruction. As war and terror close in all around them, the citizens of Gilneas are faced with one terrible truth. Their mighty wall cannot hold back the dead for much longer. And worse, rumors of a new threat have arisen within the kingdom's borders of feral, nightmare creatures that walk upright as men, but hunt and howl as wolves. The wily, cunning goblins of Kazan have lived in relative peace for generations. Though some of their race sided with the marauding orcs during the Second War, most goblins have remained neutral throughout the various conflicts between the Alliance and Horde. Ruled over by corrupt yet highly affluent trade princes, the goblins created a virtual paradise for themselves throughout the islands of the South Seas. Their ingenious feats of engineering and vast trade fleets helped make their island capital of Kazan one of the great technological wonders of the world. But now, as the elements themselves rise up in anger across the world, the goblins' mechanical paradise will be put to the test. For very soon, fate will force them to choose sides in a conflict that will shape the very history of the world.